on the road. This time at the PNC Bank Art Center in Homedale, New Jersey. We're talking to Jennifer Marks about her self-titled album, and we're also going to talk to her about opening for Cindy Lauper. Welcome to my tour bus. Oh, thanks for having us. <laughs> I actually heard that Charlie Daniels was on this tour bus too, so. For real. We've shared this with a couple of the greats. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about everyone here. And this is Karen. She's in my band. <laughs> this is my hubby over here, actually. This is and my dog. So, you know, bring the family. <laughs> That's Dustin. Hi. He's from oh, the I'm office. The label He's the label guy. These are the bunks. I, I sleep in this one. It's very interesting watching me go up into it. Ah, oh, that. And the boys hang out here, watch movies, play music really loud because I don't like it too loud. So, <laughs> so that's it. That's my bus. Hi, Mr. Higgins. How you doing? Hey. Come on up. All right. He made it. <laughs> Step on everything, right? I've done big venues, but I've never done them in a row, in a row, in a row, in a row. You know, it's been one here, and then I do some small clubs, and then another one there, something like that, at a festival. But So I've never had this opportunity at this level to do this, so it's it's been really incredible. I'm gonna live with no regret. I'm gonna give all that I get. I'm gonna live as if the best is gonna happen, yeah, 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 yeah. A lot of times of late, I've been doing, you know, early morning shows, so I've been getting to a TV studio by 7 o'clock in the morning, so we will often drive through the night to get from one venue to the next place so that we can be there that early. And then there, there have been a couple of days where I've had two morning shows and then some afternoon interviews um, and then a show at night. So it's, it really does, actually, after a while, you, know, you don't know what time zone you're in. You know, you don't know. If, uh, all you know is that when you need to sleep, you, when you have like an hour or two, you just need to go and sleep. Singer-songwriter Jennifer Marks is getting the attention of a lot of people who know good music when they hear it. Marks has a hot new single called Live, described by the folks at Billboard as Jennifer a hook Marks may not be a household name quite yet, but you'll be hearing a lot more from this Long Island girl. She's already made a name for herself as a singer and songwriter and her first major label CD. Midday, a woman Jennifer. who lives like she's got money falling from the sky. Jennifer Marks is her name. So, how's it going on tour with Cindy Lauper? You know, it's really funny because I thought I was going to actually need to be medicated. You know, I was like, I'm going to be freaked out. I'm going to be so, you know, worked up and upset and nervous. And, and um, I, it's just been very natural. It's really kind of felt, it's been an amazing feeling. I get excited and energized every night. Um, she's also been incredibly nice to me and, um, and uh, basically like put on my makeup before one show and she's like, yeah, I, this is the color you have to wear and put on my lipstick and you know, um, I borrowed jewelry and stuff like that from her one night and then she actually did my hair the next night so she's been really gracious people are buying the cd and some people are buying the t-shirts and and um you know and i'm getting a lot of of emails so i'm hoping that 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 does mean that my fan base you know that i that cindy shared her sacred fan base with me and you know that that it will grow i mean i hope so that's that's what you strive for i guess yes how does it make you feel that you picked up some publicity from the terminal it's cool. I, that, I, the, the funny part of that is I, I found out that it was happening in an airport. I was literally getting off a plane and I got the phone call. So I found out in a terminal that it was happening. And, um, and I just, it, it's a thrill. I mean, it's thrilling to know that people of that caliber and, and a movie with Tom Hanks, Steven Spielberg, that, they're, that they've heard my song. You know, they heard my song and they decided actually, hey, let's use it. So it's a thrill. The first time I heard my song on the radio, it skipped. 
<laughs> it skipped right in the middle. You know, you think everything's on CDs, that things don't skip these days. Well, it skipped. So it was very, it was very funny. I laughed really hard. I was like, you know, that's, I think that's a good omen that it skipped the first time I heard it. I have not, I've really only heard it once on television for the terminal ads and then um, once on the radio. I really haven't had, I haven't been anywhere much to listen to the radio or, or anything like that. So it hasn't hit me that it's playing uh, on radio station. It really, I don't feel any of that yet, you know? So tell me a little bit about your album. What makes this album different from the last album? It's a little bit, I, I did a little bit more um, production to it than I have in the past. And, um, and you know, but they're all my babies. The songs are all my babies. And, and you know, I, I treat every song, I try to serve the song as best as I can. So I hope that I did that on this record. It's, I hope it comes across that way. Tell me a little bit about Live and how you came up with the idea. Okay. <laughs> um, it came out of a, a Murphy's Law kind of day and just everything that could possibly go wrong was going wrong and then my computer um, drank a latte and I heard this, uh, it was my latte and it decided to drink it but I heard the circuit short and um, and did everything in my power, you know, got a blow dryer I'm like, oh, if I dry it off really fast it'll be better but that didn't work so well and um, and and so I knew in that moment I had lost like six weeks worth of work because I don't know about you, but I, I really suck at backing things up. I'm horrible at it. I wish I were better at it, but I'm not. Um, and uh, I decided, well, I'm just going to get into sweatpants, forget this day, you know, go on the couch, turn on some horrible soap opera and cry for the rest of the afternoon. And um, I got, I did all that. I got on the sofa and I, you know, I was in my sweatpants and I'm watching bad TV and um, and I, I had my guitar and I just started singing the song you know when to live as if the best is gonna happen instead of crying I wound up writing this very kind of upbeat and it's funny because I'm really kind of cynical and pessimistic and and uh, I'm the first person to you know think someone's not doing being up and up with me or something like that and and um, and the song's kind of very lighthearted which is is funny that it, it happened to come out of me. Window, um, I wrote, um, I lived in an apartment in New York City that literally had a window that was 18 feet wide and 12 feet high and it was an archway window and it was fabulously beautiful and when I saw it I was like I have to have this apartment now and it, it was too expensive but I did it anyway and um, the first day I was living there and I guess I must have only seen it on a Friday night or a Saturday morning or Sunday afternoon something like that because <laughs> we moved in and on Monday morning I woke up took a shower walked out of the bathroom butt naked across the street it was the Bank of New York and the boys in the Bank of New York were coming into work and um, I was like oh I am near a new neighbor so um, I wrote this that song basically about that window, you know, I was sitting in front of it and I'm like, I, I've got a window that's really tall. So, and, and kind of used it as a metaphor in, along that way. So, for a couple different things. High School Reunion is another song that, that, that um, I have on this album and it's, it, I kind of close the whole album with it just to kind of say, I, you know, I don't take anything too seriously in life, and um, and it's good to have a sense of humor about anything and everything that's going on. And one of the things that was going on was high school reunion was coming up, and um, and it, it was very upsetting to think I had been out of high school, you know, long enough to have a reunion. So, um, but I decided to have a sense of humor about it. If I wanted to know about your life, I would have called you on the phone. I would have let. Um, after the Cindy Lauper concert, what's next for you? You know, I think we're going to continue touring and um, and trying to get out there and trying to build the fan base and build the story and um, get as much as exposure as I can. And, and sooner or later, maybe I'll be doing my headlining my own tour, so that'll be fun.